Hi, I'm Mira. Good morning. Welcome to Flow with Mira. I'm Swastiastu. Greetings from the island of God, Bali. Special thanks to Ayana Resort and Rimba Jimbaran for allowing me to use a special location for our class today with a magnificent backdrop behind me. I'm a little in a little family holiday. This is my morning practice. I'd like to invite you to come and join me. So let's get started. We're going to start standing. Just taking a moment, at least for me, I just want to stand and just breathe. It's just such a beautiful place. Fresh air, ocean air. What more can you ask? I'm going to place my hands in front of my chest in prayer. Standing tall, lengthening up through the spine, growing tall as much as you can. Inhaling through the nose, filling up the lungs with beautiful fresh air. And exhale, softening through the body as you exhale out through the mouth. In breath. I'm going to inhale gratitude. And exhale negativity. And I'm going to inhale compassion. And I exhale, softening through my body. Let's do one more time. Now let's open our eyes and let the arm go. All right, let's do some roll down. So I'm going to turn myself to an angle, standing up nice and tall, softening through the knees here, taking in breath. And on exhale, I'm going to start rolling my spine down and try to prepare myself for the day. I'm going to place my hands on my thighs. I'm feeling a little stiff today. So I'm going to raise up into my legs and rounding my back. I'm just going to trail my arms through my legs. Inhale the bottom. And exhale, sending my tailbone down, curling my pelvis underneath me. And I'm going to start stagging up the spine. All the way to the upright position. In breath. And exhale. It's 7 o'clock here in Bali. So I'm squeezing my little practice. While my daughter is still in bed with my mother. In breath. Still in some time for myself. Exhale. I'm rolling our spine up all the way to standing. I'm going to do one more time. So I'm going quite stiff today in breath exhale and I roll my spine down I'm still trying my hands on my thigh here and I'm gonna take myself all the way down to the floor in breath and exhale let's roll our spine up again and this time let's go halfway place your hands on the thigh here and I want you to just elongate the spine flatten up the back Spanning length through the spine, reaching up from the tailbone and the crown of the head here. And as I exhale, let's do some cat stretches. We're going to round the back, curling the tail. And then inhale, reaching and I'm feeling rather long here. I'm going to try to get as long as I can with my spine. As I flatten my back and exhale, I'm going to curl my spine. I'm going to try to, I'm trying to pull my abdomen in as much as I can. And an in breath. Reaching long, lengthening out. Let's do one more time. Exhale, curling the tail, rounding the back. In breath, lengthening it through the spine. And let's just stay here. Let's take our arms up to the sky. And see if, I can, see if we can sit the pelvis down a little bit more here. Instill some grounding feeling through our feet. And some lightness through our spine here. And let's take the arm away from me across to the opposite side and rotate our spine out to the side and to the sky. And let's just stay here in breath. And exhale. Can we twist a little bit further? In breath. And exhale. And let it go. Take your arms by the side of your ears. And let's go with the other arm. Arm across the thigh. And rotate our trunk and we twist. In breath. Exhale. One more in breath. 
X out. And arms back by your ears. Dropping the body, dropping the arms down and roll the spine up. And take us up all the way up. And let's push your arms up to the sky. Looking up to the sky. Hands together, pray your hands and bring it down to the front of the chest. All right, let's transfer ourselves to the floor. Let's come to the front of the mat. Have our feet in the diamond leg position. Perching right on the sitting bone here, grab your arms. Or grab your hands underneath the thighs. Growing tall as much as we can here. Take an in breath. Exhale, we round the back into that C curve. Inhale, we grow tall. We arch our upper back and face to the sun. That's for me, the sky. And I come back upright. And again, rounding the spine as we breathe out. And in breath. Lengthening the spine and then giving a little upper extension, upper back extension. And let's do one more time. Exhale. We round. In breath, we expand our spine, opening across the front of the chest, and we come up right. Take the arms up to the side here. Rotate towards the knee, please place the back arm down, and place the front hand across the thigh, and lengthen the spine, and let's do some twists in breath. And exhale, let's go a bit further here, and let it go. Arms up to the side, rotate towards you. Back arm down to the floor, other arm in front of you, growing nice and tall, and we twist. Inhale, really try to find length through the spine, and exhale, then we twist further, and come back in, arms out to the side, arms up to the sky this time, reaching, lengthening out sideways towards the knee, creating length in our waistline here, as we go into side tilt, and come back up. Over to the other side as we in breath. And exhale. One more each side. In breath. And exhale. Last one. In breath. And exhale. Arms to the T position. C curve. We round it back and let's roll our spine down. Sending our sacrum to the floor. Roll back to the floor. And from this, stand in chest lift position, arms down by the side, bend the knee, bring the feet to a parallel position, ready for a pelvic curl. Release the head down. All right, let's go. Take an inhale. Exhale, softening to the abdominal. Not softening, engagement to the abdominal, softening to the lower spine. Curling the tail up, and let's take us up all the way up to that bridging position. Now here, just pause for a moment. I want you to really spread your feet down on the floor and feel the thigh bone reaching out from your pelvis. Your neck's reaching away from the shoulder. Your arms are active. And then press the feet down. I want you to lift the tailbone up a little higher or curl the tailbone up a little higher so you can engage your hamstrings and your glutes muscle. Inhale at the top. Exhale, we roll the spine down. Articulating all the way back down to the floor. Let's do two more times here. In breath. I love the pelvic curl. Exhale. Roll it up. I do this pretty much every day. And it's a great way to warm, this, warm up the spine. Inhale. Lift and lengthen. Exhale. Let's roll the spine right down again. Articulating the vertebrae by vertebrae. And release back to your neutral pelvis positioned. Let's do one more time. Exhale, rolling up all the way up to that bridge. In breath. And exhale, take yourself down all the way to your start position. I want you to stretch your left leg long on the floor. Bring the right leg up to a tabletop. Grab the shin and compress the right hip bones here. I want to inhale to lengthen through the left side of the body and then compress the right hip bone or the right thigh to your chest as you exhale and release. So switch your leg and extend and reach out the right leg long on the floor. Lift the left one up and press down to your chest. 
in breath exhale and let it go all right let's lift the leg up to the tabletop here one and two open the arms out to the side for spine to supine rotate towards me please as we in breath exhale come back to center in breath and exhale I've got a few cracks on my back there and <laughs> in breath and exhale and in breath I guess I'm feeling a lot stiffer than I normally am daily and over to me again in breath and exhale and just the last one towards you in breath and an exhale and come back down lower one foot down second leg down interlacing the hands behind the head make sure your feet are in parallel position elbows are off ready for the chest lift breathe out with love inhale we lengthen up a little higher up a little bit more maybe exhale come back down there again exhale we lift inhale we lengthen exhale we come down there again exhale inhale we lengthen up off the floor that is exhale we come down one more time exhale in breath and exhale back again and let's do one last one and exhale we'll lift and stay grab the back of your thigh up a little bit higher stretch your arms forward you can stack one hand on top of the other rotate to me chest a bit for tension and the middle over the other side and the middle and to me and the middle and to you and the middle and center one more each side center come back to center hands behind the thigh not the thigh your head and come right back down to the floor all right stretch your left leg down on the floor bring the right leg up to tabletop I wanted to grab your shin just underneath the knee there bend the elbows here we're gonna lift the head of the chest up here press down into your leg curl up and I want you to roll yourself all the way up into that seeker and let's flatten and lengthen the back and then let's roll down again Pull back in the abdominals, roll the spine down. You can use your arms to support you. You really need to bend the elbows here and rounding all the way back to the floor. Let's do one more time here. Lifting up, rounding the back into the chest lift. Press down as you curl up a little bit more. You can drop the feet down. And from here, lifting the spine into a flat back. And we round the spine back down, pulling away from the thigh bone. Take yourself all the way down and rest down. Release the arm, lower the right leg down, bring the left one in, extend the right leg down on the floor, take the left leg up to tabletop, and again, we'll lift up, bend the elbows, curling up, dropping the feet with control, lifting up the spine, reaching up nice and tall, and pulling back in the abs, rolling the spine away from the legs, and come back to that tabletop again we lift up roll up roll up roll up we lift the spine up nice and tall and we pull back in the abs and we roll us up all the way back down straighten both legs down on the floor arms overhead let's go for the roll up legs are together here the arms float up, the head comes up, arms by the side, pull back in the abdominal and run yourself up and over into that C curve. And strong long spine, strong abdominals pulling in and let's roll the spine right down, sacrum down, lower back down, arms over here. Let's do that again. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, come up and over into that C curve. Inhale, we lift through the spine. Exhale, we roll the spine down. And take our arms overhead. And again, one more time, we'll lift. 
And next one, come up and over into that C curve. And let's go roll it back, roll it back, roll it back. And arms overhead. Last one, we're going to come up. Inhale, roll up. And exhale, come up and over into that C curve. And let's go ahead and just roll back about 20 degrees. Bend the knees, ready for rolling on like the ball. So grab the legs, just holding on to just above the ankle here. Again, bend the elbows, pull back in the abs, and let's go. Inhale, we roll back. Exhale. Ooh, I've got an uneven surface underneath me. So I'm going to go a little bumpy, rolling up and down. And in, exhale. And again, in, two more. Exhale. And last one. Uh, Exhale, I made it. And then lower the feet down, hands behind you. I want your feet to be hip width distance apart, so in line with the sitting bone. Fingertips facing your bottom, lengthening the arms or stretching the arms long. Straight back. Okay, let's do some modified back support. But this time I want you to articulate the spine. So we press down with the feet in the hands, we curl the tail up. We roll our pelvis on the spine. We're gonna reach the thigh towards the feet. You're gonna push the hands down, open the front of the chest. Neck is long, in breath. Exhale, we roll down. Now as you roll down, I still want you to push off the floor. Push off the floor, push off the floor, and release the pelvis down. Again, we curl up, roll it all the way up to that table-like position. Reaching the thigh forward, pressing the pelvis up, pushing the hands away off the floor, opening across the front of the chest, neck is long, and exhale, we roll down, push off from the floor, or the ground, or the grass for me, and roll with the spine all the way. One last one, please, we curl up, roll up, press up, push up, lengthening out, and we roll the spine all the way back down to the floor and I want you to push up straight legs flex the feet arms up to the sky I just want you to roll the spine down grab the legs and just try to get yourself as close as possible to your legs and roll the spine up okay feet into diamond leg position arms up to the side here let's go to some so I'm modifying the legs so <clears throat> It's probably easier for my back, but if you want to do with the straight legs, you're welcome to do so. In fact, why don't we do the diamond leg and then we're going to do with the straight leg for options. So rotate to me, please. Twist. Move the arms and reach and soar across. And then lift up, back up to the side, open and center. And over to the other side, move the arms, reach and soar across, back up to the side, open and center. And we twist. We move the arms, we lean forward and up, open and center, twist, move the arms and reach and lean forward, back up, open and center. All right, let's straighten the legs there, flex the feet and let's go, rotate, arms, reach forward and open the arms to the side, open to the side and center and we twist. Move the arms, so to the outside of the foot, and we lift the spine. We open and center, last set, twist, and arms, and reach forward, and open, open, center. Last one, twist, arms, reach forward, and open, open, center. Grab the ankles here, lifting the legs up, to a diamond position, I want you to hold the ankle, spine is straight here, modified, open like rocker. Here, yeah, so we're gonna round the spine, we're gonna roll back and come forward and look, lost my balance. Come a little bit more forward for myself, I'm on a little bum on my bottom there. So lift the spine, take two. Let's go round back and forward and lift up. Again, round back and Forward. It's definitely a challenge to roll on an uneven grass surface here. I'm falling left and right. I'm going to do my best to catch myself to stay in the center. Let's go one more time. In breath. 
and forward. And we're left, left, we're left, we hold the legs there. Let's release the arms. Can we hold the legs up in the this position? Down the legs, tabletop, and float the arms there. Stay in a moment. In breath. Exhale. One more. In breath. Exhale. And release. Feet down. Turn yourself towards me. Bring the forearm on the side, on the floor. Extend the top leg, bottom leg, bend. Some side kick, lift up the underneath side, hand behind here, or on the floor. So lovely, I'll leave it to you. Take the top leg up, flex the foot, and let's go. Inhale, reach back, exhale. Inhale, and two more sets. Last set. Reach, we hold, stretch back, reach the top and forward in diagonal position, steady in breath. And exhale, we track. Bring the knees in and sit up, tuck the feet underneath you, lift the top arm, side bend. Ooh, that feels good. Stretch your arms away from the bottom and come it down. Switch. Bottom legs bend, top leg long, hand behind the head. Take the top leg up, flex the foot, and let's go. In breath, and in. Two more, set, left, and take the top arm forward, reach forward and back. In breath, exhale. And bring it in, tuck the feet in, bottom arm up to the sky, and side bend over to the side. And come back in. On to our front. We're gonna do a single leg kick here because I need to prepare my back for the day. Okay, so extend the legs away. Oh, we need to prepare our backs for the day. So reaching the chest forward. Lifting the top legs off the floor and shall we exhale and in breath and and keep the legs off the floor and exhale last sweat straighten the legs off Lower the legs down. Turn your head towards me. Interlace your hands behind your head. Behind your back. Pardon me. Behind your back. Mirror. Right, let's legs together there. I guess I have a holiday brain at the moment. So let's float the legs off the floor. Double leg kick. Here we go. Exhale. Inhale. We reach the arms off the bottom. Float the legs off the floor. Turn the head over to the other side and let's go. Exhale. Inhale, we reach the arms off the bottom, legs are floating, neck is long, and let's turn. Let's go one more time. Exhale. In breath, reaching long, lengthening up, and turning. Last one. Inhale, reach, reach, and let's stay here. Keep the neck long. Let's do some swimming legs. So separate the legs a little bit. And here we go. Inhale. I want you to pull back with the arms. Exhale. In breath. Paddle the legs from the hip joint. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Two more times or two more sets. Exhale. Last set here. Exhale. And pasta. Legs together. Release the arms. Lower the legs. Bring the forearm to the side of the shoulder. Push the floor away. Round the back. And a quick sit onto the heels for our rest position. Let's take our toes. Lift the pelvis up to the upstretch position. Poise. So high in the bottom. Pushing the floor away. Long neck. 
And then from here, I want you to lower the heel one, lower the heel two. And keep sending the pelvis away from your shoulders, from your head, from your hands. And let's do some prancing, lifting the right heel up. And left heel up, switch. And right heel up. And left heel up. And right up. And left up. And and left up. One more each side. And lift both heels up. Lower both heels. And I want you to walk your feet to your hands. So walking forward. 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 And I just drop the body down to the floor. You can release the arms. You can even hold the hands on each elbow here. And just allow the gravity to do its job, to do its work. To pull the body a little closer to the floor. In breath. Surrender. Exhale. One more. In breath. Exhale. Bring the hands down to the floor, softening through the legs again, curling the pelvis, and start rolling the spine up, taking yourself all the way up to a beautiful standing position. Find the tallest standing position you can find today. For me, this morning, it may be evening for you, Maybe afternoon for you, just find, try to find your best, tallest position. Take the arms out to the side, take the arms out to the sky, bring the hands together and bring the hands in front of the chest. We breathe together again, in breath through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Inhaling gratitude to yourself. Exhale, grounding ourselves to the ground. Inhaling compassion to the people around you, to yourself. Exhaling foundation to your body. And let it go. Thank you for joining my morning practice on this beautiful island, Bali, and a special thanks to Ayana Resort and Bimba Jimbaran for allowing me to use the beautiful location for today's class. I have to be a mother right now and check on my daughter who is in the room. I hope she still safe. I wish you a lovely day and I'll see you back on the mat tomorrow. Thank you. Well done on completing this class, your star. I'm Mira, and I'm here to help you to love, look, and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free six-day intermediate challenge. Click the first link in the comments and join us in getting fit, strong, and feel energized with a calendar of new intermediate Pilates videos. This six-day challenge is taken from my 28 days intermediate Pilates program. If you would like to join the full 28 days, you'll find a link to my Flow With Mirror online membership in the description. See you in the next class.